Right, hello and welcome back to another our live tuning vlog video slash feature, should we say? Uh, today on the dyno we've got a, uh, a Defender uh, originally 300 TDI um, and it's been uh, upgraded by Icon Motor Company with a, a Coyote engine. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, today we've got something very special on the dyno. So we're using HP tuners to, uh, to log the data on the engine here. So uh, this is one that's uh, been installed by Icon Motor Company. It's a Coyote, uh, a 2022 uh, Model 3. And uh, it's had a few little teething issues in the beginning, but I believe we're getting somewhere now with regards to getting the mass scaling correctly. We've had some support from, uh, from HP tuners themselves, so I can't take full credit for this one, but we're here to test this one today and look at the data and see if this is uh, essentially ready to hand back to the customer. Just popping in some settings on the dyno here. So, just having done a first pull, just reviewing the logs, looking like that was yeah, a, touch, a touch lean. I'd like to add a little bit more enrichment to that one, so uh, we'll make some adjustments to the math scaling and uh, essentially we'll get the fueling that we require. brought in today for, uh, for um, a dyno session and some small tweaks to the fueling which are, consist of uh, using HP tuners um, to alter math scaling and the lambda target tables just to just to make sure uh, emissions are good and the vehicles uh, got the correct air fuel ratio so that it can produce the, uh, the correct amount of power for one of these so let's have a look at what power it's made. So after several runs on the dyno, we've made 434 horsepower and 517 newtons of torque. So a little bit down on what, uh, what these claim to make, but I mean, I guess that is a claim. <laughs> and uh, we do actually see this with quite a few vehicles, uh, manufacturers claiming X amount of horsepower and torque, and they can often make a bit more and sometimes they can make a bit less. So. What we've, again, what we've been doing with this one is just optimising the fueling, not, tune, not necessarily tuning for power, um, but just trying to improve uh, the torque delivery um, at best. So what I would say, what I like about this vehicle best is we've all heard of a vehicle being a sleeper, and I guess that kind of is what this is. So we've actually already done some of the tuning on this one, might have shown you some of that already, but just in case we didn't capture enough videos, and uh, I'm sure you all want to hear it several times, Let's, uh, let's do a few more dyno pulls.
sound. Shakes the whole car. <laughs> Incredible. Right, road test. <laughs> Sound clean. Yeah, it does. It does. Right. Okay. That brings us to the end of uh, this uh, this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, just had an awful lot of fun out there on the road with Nathan. Uh, I did capture a little bit of footage. Whether we'll show that or not, I think we'll probably will. There's some good bits we can show. Essentially, it's wet outside, and we've. Best part of 450 horsepower um, in, in a Defender 110. It's a little bit hairy, shall we say. So, yeah. Um, thank you for Nathan for, uh, for opening it up on the road there. That was, that was brilliant, mate. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that brings us to the end of the video. Uh, so, just to recap, Icon Motor Company, uh, they have installed a, uh, a late generation 3 uh, Coyote motor into what was a 300 uh, TDI, essentially. Um, originally the vehicle came in, wasn't running very well, um, we was dubious of the MAF um, being in a non-original intake so um, after a little bit of research um, we worked on with Richard and HP tuners as well, they've given us a bit of support, we can't take all the credit on this one um, for essentially um, altering the MAF to suit the, um, the, the aftermarket intake and then um, doing a little bit of tuning. Um, for, on the fuel table as well afterwards to suit so had a lot of fun with that one lots of noise and um, hopefully that comes across really well on the videos as well appreciate it if you guys would give us a like and a subscribe and uh, and a share of course if you have any questions about what we've done on this video today or any of the things in the uh, we've done in the past or anything you'd like to see in the future uh, don't hesitate to uh, to leave a message and we will get back to you my name is Stu this is a live tune in and we'll see you in the next one.